Hi everybody. Happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point, but it's a day. It's the second of the month. It could be Tuesday. I don't know. Now I have to really go check and find out. But I thought I would check in with everybody to see how you're doing and hope all is well. There is so much going on in this world and we need some encouragement. Thought So I thought I would do that right now. Um, this morning, as some of you might know, I am in the state of Nebraska. Nebraska is cold. Um, I'm from California, not born and raised, but I was raised in California. And so I came out to Nebraska to um, help out a lifestyle center and um, help out, learn, and gain the experience because I love helping people, love helping people, love helping people, especially in health. Um, all kind of ways of health too. Hi, Auntie Merlin. So I thought I would just come on here and share a little experience I had this morning. I was, I like to get up in the morning <clears throat> at 0400. Those who know world time, it's not just military, it's world. Um, <clears throat> world time and I like to you know have my devotion and then I like to go out for a run in the morning so as soon as I see the dawn breaking and I see some sunlight I am heading outside to go and do some jogging and some running and um, I don't know about anybody else but during the season it is there's less sunlight so those of you who have rich melanin skin color know that you need a lot of vitamin D in order to stay healthy. And so um, when there's less sun, it causes problems for those of us who have richer mel melanin colors and tones. So I tend to get vitamin deficient and I eat healthy. I exercise on a regular basis and I get some sun whenever I can. But this is just something that I've been dealing with basically all my life. So what I do is I take a vitamin D3 supplement, all plant-based, because usually if it's D3, it's gonna have some kind of animal byproduct in there. And um, mm -mm. I like to be whole food plant-based, not whole food the story, I mean the store, or whole paycheck. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was, so anybody knows anything about vitamin D deficiency, it means that you will have some aches and pains. Um, D deficiency does cause like uh, osteoporosis, um, health challenges. You're lacking. You're being meaning your bones are going to be weaker and brittle. That's the main thing we're we'll focus on right now. Is when being vitamin D. Hi sis. Hi Mark. When you're vitamin D deficient, ugh. of course it. There's mood changes too with you know d is a hormone it's going to be you, you need that hormone to help you with mood as well and your immune system to build it up so i'm focusing right now on the bones and how you need d for your bones and k and calcium you need those three to help you to have healthy strongy 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 <laughs> strong bones so um with that being said me running this morning knowing that I'm vitamin D deficient, it hurts. So I'm just like, but I'm the type of person, even though it may hurt, I'm gonna still push forward because you can't get results babysitting things, right? So um, this is what we do sometimes even in our Christian walk. You know, when certain things come up, they hurt. We wanna pull back, pull back from God. We were like, no, I don't wanna do any of that. So. God hurt me. It's really somebody else that hurt you. God had nothing to do with it. You know, he may allow things to happen, but he didn't hurt you. So there is this quote that I read yesterday in my devotion, and I shared it on Facebook or my social media. And I wrote it down, took some little notes. And the first one I want to share with you, it talks about exercise, right? It says, exercise increase the appetite and gives strength and healthy vigor to the body. So will devotional exercise bring increase and grace 
bring increase of grace and spiritual vigor. Vigor. So, when you're training for something, there's going to be some type of pain, you know, because your body is not used to it. And we talk about exercise here. When you're lifting weights or when you're running or you're stretching, if you're new at certain things, your body is not accustomed to it. So you're building tears in your muscles and not only in your muscles, but in your bones as well. So these things are, are, they're painful. But the more you do it, you're building strength and you're building stamina. And then, yeah, when you exercise, you eat a lot more. <laughs> you eat a lot more and you're just like, I can hit the whole house down. <laughs> so, but honestly, like that quote was saying, the more you exercise, you eat, you have a, you have a better appetite. And then you're going to be healthier. And that's the same way when you are exercising by having devotion devotion is just a special time between you and god you and god are chatting together and you're getting to know him more and um, more about yourself as well more about what's going on in the world more about health more about you know just a lot of things you, you begin to get a lot of wisdom and so when you start exercising that by having more devotion you are just like on fire for God. And it, it makes you understand and appreciate so much, so much more than you would have ever appreciated if you just didn't know. And um, I love this other quote that I, it's actually a Bible verse, and it's from Psalms 118, 25 and 26. Before I go into that, I wanted to say, there are some Sometimes when it comes to your devotion with God, you may not understand certain things that may have happened to you. You know, there's all kinds of abuses that happen. And going back to exercise, when you exercise, it hurts. Are you going to stop exercising because it hurts? Some people do. And when you do, I'm going to tell you, get back up. Don't stop exercising. Get back up and continue to exercise. But exercising... You know, it, it helps, it hurts a little bit, but also you like to see the results. You're like, oh yeah, I'm seeing like my muscles are getting stronger. You know, I'm losing weight. Um, I have better lung capacity because you, before you could run like 500 feet and you're out of breath. Now you can run like a thousand feet and now you can, you know, so you, you're building strength and vigor. And so the same thing when it comes to relationship with God you know, we have the church. We are the church personally, but when we're in a physical building, when you can, um, there are things that happen. There's all kind of abuses that happen, you know, and then you want to look away from God and say, God, you allowed this to happen, or why did you, why did this happen? So it, it just becomes discouraging. And, um, and then there could be other instances too, when it comes to the relationship with God, like, You've been praying, let's say, for land, because those of us who are Adventists know that we're seeing the times are super crazy. You know, we are literally seeing what happened in Revelation right now. You know, we're seeing what's going on in Daniel and Revelation right now. We're just like, whoa, whoa. Those of us who are Bible students, those of us who are not, pick up your Bible, read it. <laughs> just like that. And so... Um, when you've been praying and asking God for something and it seems like he's just not hearing you, you feel like your prayers are not getting any higher than the ceiling. Then you, you could be like David. And, um, I like this, what he says a lot in Psalms 118, 25. And it says, save me now. I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, save now and send prosperity. I probably said that a little bit wrong. But and it says, Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. And you know, blessed and Hosanna, you're just like praising God for the answered prayer. So, this is a prayer of confidence. David is like, Save me, God, I need some prosperity. And prosperity is profit, it's money, it's, it's a worldly thing that we need today still which is what we need. So 
it's okay to beseech God and use your your exercise that you've been doing on a regular basis, your devotional on a regular basis with God and um, start asking him for things that you need in his name, like it says in 1 Corinthians 5, 14 and 15. I don't have memorized, but go look it up and see if I'm right about that, about that promise. So um, we just need to hold on and know that God is going to take care of us. And he will send somebody to take care of us. He will, um, hey sister, he will, he will be there for us. And we have to just trust in him and trust in his promises. And we need to hold on. Might be repeating myself, but that's okay. Um, so I thought I would come on here and just to shed some encouragement for those of us here in this world and understand that there is a lot of hope. Somebody was driving by, I was being a little bit nosy, so it's all right. Where um, there, it may seem like the world is gonna end tomorrow, but we have to still be in that race. We have to still be in that race and hold on. We still need to exercise every single day. If you're able to go outside and exercise, go outside and exercise. That's the best exercise is to breathe in the fresh, fresh air by the trees get that oxygen that's fresh if you buy the ocean get that negative ions and that salt air it's so good it helps to clean out your lungs and helps to detoxify your lungs and we are just being blessed all around you're out in nature you get to see um animals hopefully they're not dangerous ones is going to come and eat you and then you know <laughs> No, but you know, like birds, hopefully you see birds and squirrels and whatnot. So I would really suggest people get outside as much as possible. If you can, if you can't open your window, exercise inside the house, you know, open your window and hopefully you can do that too, because sometimes if you live in the city and you got that nasty air, get an air purifier, <laughs> open the window, get an air purifier. But anyways, my basic, what I'm trying to say is just exercise. You want to keep your body as a living temple because that's where God is supposed to dwell. That's where the Holy Spirit is supposed to dwell. We have to have a clean body, clean minds, clean gut so that we can really hear the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to go into like clean gut because I was like, hmm, I'll leave that talk for another time. But I just want to leave you all with that encouragement that while you're exercising on a regular basis, physically exercise spiritually by having devotions with God and um, having a conversation, that dialogue, you know, pouring out your heart and being honest with your your sins that so easily beset you and know that it's it's okay to share that with God because guess what? He knows already. <laughs> so he wants you to know that he wants you to know what he knows about you already by you sharing with him your dirt. Hopefully I didn't trip myself up or you too. Anyways, I'm going to say goodnight. I've got some things to do here. And um, you all are awesome. You all are loved and you all are amazing. And um, stay healthy. God bless.